As far as announcements of upcoming genre productions go, the second week of May of 2017 was quite the week. On the 8th of May, an R-rated Hellboy reboot was announced. This has a lot of possibilities, even if it was the final nail in the coffin for Guillermo del Toro and Ron Perlman's Hellboy 3. Then, on May 10th, Fox announced a Deadpool animated series, aimed at an adult audience, which is sure to be a hoot. Also on May 10th, 2000 AD owner Rebellion announced a live-action, high-end Judge Dredd TV series. Seeing as I happen to be a hardcore Judge Dredd fan, that has got me real excited. In this video, I'll briefly summarize who and what Judge Dredd is, before going over what little is known about the series so far, what can be inferred from that, and finally, let you know what I hope we might see in it. Just in case you missed our earlier coverage on Dread and the struggle to make a sequel to it, let's do a very brief recap. The Judge Dread comic strip made its debut in the second issue of British Anthology magazine 2000 AD, 40 years ago, way back in 1977. The stories take place 122 years into the future, after the world has largely been made a wasteland following a nuclear holocaust, with the surviving population centered in various city-states around the world. The city-state of Mega City 1 is located on the eastern seaboard of what was formerly the United States of America. Democracy has fallen, and Mega City 1 is a totalitarian police state, where due process has been replaced by instant justice. Meaning, the city is policed by street judges, who act as police, judge, jury, and on occasion, executioner, all rolled into one. Joe Dredd is one such judge, only more hardline than most. Irony and satire are touchstones of the multi-layered comic strip, and Dredd himself walks the line between hero and villain. He is a product of the system, and the faceless representative of justice. Contrary to popular belief, he does take the helmet off, but his face is always obscured from the reader. Visuals aside, the first Judge Dredd adaptation from 1995 was, for all intents and purposes, a Sylvester Stallone vehicle starring Sylvester Stallone as a stock Sylvester Stallone character in a movie featuring a stock Sylvester Stallone plot. And it did nothing but damage to both the Sylvester Stallone and Judge Dredd brands. The 2012 reboot starring Carl Urban, however, is pure Judge Dredd, through and through. I personally consider it, alongside the first Guardians of the Galaxy, to be the best comic book movie ever made. While you might not share that sentiment, the movie was indeed a hit with both critics and especially with fans. Sadly, it had the misfortune to be released by Bomb Factory Lionsgate Films, which botched the marketing so badly you'd think they deliberately tried to bury it. And so, both fans and fan-turned-star Carl Urban have been campaigning ever since for a continuation, in either the form of another movie or a TV series. Thanks to that, and no doubt the continuous behind-the-scenes efforts of the rights holders, a new Judge Dredd TV series has now been announced as being in the early stages of development. At the time of making this video, all we know is that the series, which will be called Judge Dredd Mega City 1, will be a high-end production, filmed in the UK. It will be an ensemble drama about the team of judges, as they deal with the challenges the future shock 22nd century throws at them, and it will feature both the grittier and some of the more outlandish aspects of the comic strip. The series will be made by independent entertainment studio I Am Global and Judge Dredd's corporate owner, the video game company Rebellion, and at least partially funded and possibly co-produced by Tang Media Partners. Attached as executive producers are president of I Am Global Television, Mark Stone, who developed the critically acclaimed series Battlestar Galactica, Helix and Defiance at Sci-Fi, I Am Global Television CEO Stuart Ford, and the owners of Rebellion, Jason and Chris Kingsley, who along with Ford were also executive producers on the 2012 Dread feature film. Early development has begun on the show, and talent will be announced at a later date, as they obviously have a lot of groundwork to cover before they get that far. No network is on board yet, and the series won't premiere for another two years. And that about sums up what we know, so let the speculation begin. 
The big questions are of course if Carl Urban will be involved, and if it will be a continuation or a reboot. Carl Urban's Dread was practically Judge Dread from the comics, ripped off the page and brought to life. He portrayed the character with the same level of perfection Robert Downey Jr. did Iron Man. If they were to recast, a lot of fans, myself included, would be very disappointed. Luckily, Carl Urban has been very vocal about his desire to return to the world and role of Judge Dredd. He has committed to other TV series in the not-too-distant past, and this will be a high-end production, so his returning to the role is certainly within the realm of possibility. How hard they will try to get him, though, will probably depend on to which extent the series will be a continuation or a reboot. The series will almost certainly not be a direct continuation. The 2012 movie was shot on location in South Africa. This one will be shot in the UK. The teaser poster and comments made by the rights holders suggest they are going for a more futuristic Megacity one like the one in the comic strip, and less like the more grounded Megacity one of the 2012 movie. Also, all uniforms and equipment developed for the 2012 movie has been scattered across all winds, so they're going to have to make it all over again. Maybe they want another visual style? I think the very best fans of the 2012 movie can hope for is a soft reboot. One that still stars Urban, and which doesn't contradict it. Outside of a different visual style, we can sort of pretend was the same all along, inside the context of the series. Of course, they could do a hard reboot and take a massive departure from the 2012 movie. In this case, Urban might not even be needed, although he would still be missed. At this time, no network has picked the series up, which is the same situation the 2012 movie was in for the longest of time, until it was picked up by the worst possible distributor, as we've seen. For this series, I would hope they are able to reach a distribution deal with Netflix, as I firmly believe that is the single best, most viable place for any high-end series. However, Given the past output of the president of IM Global Television, Mark Stern, who developed Battlestar Galactica, Helix and Defiance, I wouldn't be too surprised if this too found its way to sci-fi, especially in light of them trying to rebrand themselves away from Sharknado-level stuff. Since it is going to be a high-end series, we are likely looking at seasons of 13 episodes or less, which I think is awesome, as I'll take quality over quantity any day. In the comic strip, the city-state of Mega City 1 is a character, and based on how the series is described, they appear to be going for the same here. The politics, the populace, the trends, these are what allow the comic strip to be such excellent satire, and what makes it, if anything, even more relevant today than when it was first published, because society is actually moving in the very direction it warned against. I am very excited about the series not just focusing on Dread, but rather a team of judges, as that is, in my opinion, when the series is at its best. To see an example of that, check out the graphic novel The Pit, which I hope the makers of the series will take a good look at when developing this. Over the years and thousands of stories, not just Judge Dread, but the extended Judge Dread universe, the comic strip has covered just about everything, from heavy drama, prejudice and morals, to the dangers of science gone wild, the supernatural, and silly out there romps. I hope the series is able to strike a balance, but overall keep it grounded, as that is part of the enduring appeal of the 2012 movie. Give us the democracy storyline, which the movie was foreshadowing, and I'd love to see the cloning aspect and Dredd's extended family explored. Mean Machine and Cursed Earth Coburn would be most welcome too, Judge Death, however, can wait a few seasons as far as I'm concerned, though. But above all, I hope there aren't any major stumbling blocks that derail it, and that the series actually will end up getting made. Let me know what you want to see in a Judge Dread series in the comments. If you like this video, please hit that subscribe button. Join us for spin-free news and analysis of the happenings and corporate politics behind the scenes of your favorite genre movies, as well as explorations of your favorite characters and their backgrounds and context here at Midnight's Edge.